The explanation why the ice here it starts to move faster. Each summer, as a result of rising temperatures, more and more meltwater is forming lakes and rivers on the surface of the ice. And this is where all the water flows, into deep shafts called moulins. No one knows for sure where the water ends up when it disappears into the moulins. But Connie believes it flows straight to the base of the glacier. If he's right, this could explain why the glacier is moving so fast. So far, no one has been able to prove if the meltwater actually does reach the bedrock and lubricate the ice sheet. Or if it simply flows through the ice, never reaching the bottom at all. Now, Connie and his team hope to solve this mystery. They're using a camera built by NASA, designed to withstand extreme temperatures. It could finally answer the question of whether the increased amount of water is actually speeding up the flow of ice. If it is, then he will have made a direct connection between climate change and the disappearing glacier. So this is the first time it's gone down a natural This ruin. is the first. And maybe a last. <laughs> They've got nearly 1,300 feet of cable, which Connie believes is long enough to lower the camera all the way to the bedrock. Sixty meters. This is amazing. Uh, Seventy meters. Seventy meters. Finally, nearly <laughs> three hundred and thirty feet down, we've reached meltwater. Now it's a lot. Yeah. It's a good sign that the camera's on the right track. But if this water does reach the very bottom of the ice, there's still a long way to go. Fifty degrees. I think it's stuck. The camera seems to have reached a bend in the Mulan, and it's not moving. It's hit a ledge. It could be just a kink in the Mulan, or it could be the water never reaches the bedrock. For the moment, it will have to remain a mystery. Connie and his team will have to redesign the camera and return next summer. But wherever this water ends up, it's clear that more surface ice is melting. Scientists have mapped the area of the Greenland ice sheet that experiences surface melting in summer. As recently as the 1990s, it was a relatively small area, around the edges of the ice sheet. But by 2005, the melt zone had massively expanded. This would be bad enough on its own. But if the meltwater is also causing the glaciers to accelerate into the sea, it could have very serious consequences. There seems to be no doubt that Greenland's ice is moving and changing faster than we ever conceived of even five years ago. What's more? Because this process continues every summer, the whole ice cap loses elevation, which means that it'll be sitting in warmer temperatures. And that, of course, means more melting, more of these moulins, and so an even faster demise. And it isn't only Greenland's ice that's under threat. Around the world, it's the same story. This is the Columbia Glacier in Alaska. Like Jakobshavn, this is a fast-moving glacier that ends up in the sea. It's about a mile and a half wide and about half a mile thick. But just 20 years ago, it was nearly twice as thick. 
The line around the valley shows where the ice used to reach. It's like a high tide mark. This change has had a devastating effect. Where the glacier meets the ocean, the result is clear. Chunks of ice are falling into the sea 30 times faster than before. As the ice gets thinner, the process accelerates. Since 1980, the Columbia has retreated over nine miles. In fact, in the past 50 years, glaciers have been shrinking all over the world. The floating ice shelves that surround Antarctica are also disintegrating. This one collapsed in just five weeks, destroying an area of ice in excess of 1,100 square miles. There's now no doubt that the world's ice is in retreat. It's melting at a phenomenal rate, and it's likely to accelerate over the next few years. It's still not possible to say for certain how much ice on the planet will vanish or how fast. For the planet, being without ice will be nothing unusual. But for humans, the loss of ice will transform the appearance of the planet. It will be the most visible change on the Earth since the dawn of civilization.